Hi guys, Hedia here. Sorry I haven't posted anything in the last couple of weeks. I've been a bit busy. But anyways, today I want to make a video on cron jobs. Which is basically how in Linux you can schedule tasks to run at a certain time that you want. And yeah, a cron job is a Linux command used for scheduling tasks to be executed sometime in the future. This is normally used to schedule a job that is executed periodically. For example, some sending out a notice every morning. Some scripts such as Drupal and uh, WHMCS may require you to set up cron jobs to perform certain functions. So basically it's a script that can be called or executed. And normally in server environments they're managed in cPanel, which I'll make a video about it later on. But right now I'm not going to do that. Right now I'm just making an introduction on how to set up a basic cron job. And so yeah, let's get started. So here I have a simple bash script if I were to go and open it up and what this does is first it'll call bin bash letting my system know it's a bash file and what we'll do is it'll use the touch command to create a file called example.txt in this uh, location which is right here now in order to create a cron job first I need to go to my cron tab file so you can do that by typing in cron tab space dash e and I'll open up the cron tab which is located in the temp folder cron tab cron tab and in here you can add in your basic cron jobs that will run on certain after a certain period of time now the way cron jobs are basically done is you have what is a date in this case this will be running every single minute of every okay so the star on the left is supposed to represent minute star second to the right from the furthest left is hour day week or I think it's month or it's week month and then year so this one is gonna run every minute of every day every hour of every day every week month year and this is gonna call the bash script to let me just uh, uncomment it out so yes it'll call the bash command to run this bash file that I have made in the location I have saved it in and if I were to just save this control 0 and then control X now right now there's 30 seconds until the next minute but in 30 seconds it will automatically create an example.txt file and let me just see let me just move this a little bit because I want to show you guys Okay, there you go. As you saw, automatically it created the example.txt file, which is an empty file, there's nothing in it because it's a very uh, simple command, it just tells it to create it. But yes, every minute, so if I just delete this, every minute, if, it, if there is no file called example.txt, it will create a new example.txt. So we'll do that again in one minute. Now, just to show you guys the formatting, so yes, you go to crontab dash e, and then this is how you would format it to create a cron job. So a would recommend represent minutes, and let me just show you how I did that again. So crontab dash l dash l will show you all the cron jobs you have made. So right now, this would be the uh, a. Where, hang on. So yeah, I made example.txt again. So yeah, it's just show, I'm just showing you that it runs every minute. Anyways, A would represent minutes. It's the furthest one on the left, as depicted by the star. Star means to run, it, it just means for everything. So every minute in the position of A, it'll run every minute. And then B is hours, C is days, D is months, and then E is 
well, days of the week, but I've seen other sources say it represents years, but... Alright, I guess days of the week makes sense. Now, I did put bash right here as the function, but if I were to put a username, basically this refers to the group that it's launching with. And in some cases, this group would be a command, bash to run a bash file, or in other cases, it would have to be a user. Back up. Now, most sources are saying that I don't need to put in bash in order to run a bash file, but after some experimenting, I had to put the uh, bash command in order to make this bash file run. Um, let me just uh, edit it just to see if it'll work again without it. So, let me just scroll down. And down here, I did try to run GIMP. Unfortunately, GIMP was not running, at least from the way I was doing it. I was trying to launch it from the GIMP desktop icon, which I know you're not supposed to do, but I tried launching GIMP from the bin file itself, but I guess I just, it's a permission issue. I'm gonna experiment more with cron jobs in the future, so I'll make a follow-up video to this on how to launch uh, applications using cron jobs. But for now, it's just a, I'm just gonna show you a simple bash file. Alright, so I save that. I'm gonna exit it, says installing a new cron tab. So let me just pull back up the. Let me just get rid of this. Now, after 45 seconds, when the next minute goes by, it should create another example.txt if it works without the bash function to run it with. But yeah, um, so this is the form, the syntax you would use to create a cron job and yeah here's the asterisk it specifies all possible values for a field so just how just like this example they show here to run it at 3 a.m. every day the minute would be 0 because you want it 3 a.m. on the dot 3 would be the hour so from 0 to 24 3 is 3 a.m. and then if you want to run it every day every week all days of the week you just put in an asterisk to specify all of them. So in my case, let me just go back to cron tab dash L. In order to run a cron job every minute, I have to put asterisks on all five fields. So every minute, every hour, every day, every week, all five, all seven days a week. That's why it's five asterisks to make it run every minute all the time. Now let me see, yep. Alright, so I didn't need to use the uh, bash function. It created an example text right here. Let me just uh, verify it one more time. Because there's only uh, 15 seconds until the next minute. Yeah, this video as it is is not too complicated. But I just wanted to show you guys how you can set up a simple cron job. As well as an introduction to them. And yeah, there. It creates another it works without the bash file. Now one more thing I want to go over is how to start, stop, and restart as well as check the status of the uh, cron jobs on your system. If you have system D running you can just use uh, init.d or system control. I had, a I had a function written down to use system control but I don't know where I put it. I'll just show you the uh, initd way. So sudo dash etc dash init dot d dash cron status. Let me just put in my uh, password. And as you can see, it is active and running right now. And it is showing me the cron jobs that have been running for the past uh, two or three minutes, every minute. Anyways, to stop it, sudo dash etc dash init dot d slash cron stop. And it'll stop the service. And if I want to check the status of it,
it is inactive. It is dead as of 11 minutes. And just to verify, let me delete example again. And we'll check this in 15 seconds because that's when the next minute happens. And if there's no example.txt, then yes, the job is stopped. So it should be in about 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and nothing. So yes, now we can verify that the cron job has been stopped. Now, you can either do sudo slash etc slash init.d slash cron. You can either do start to start it back up or you could do restart and they'll both basically do the same thing. So restart will turn it back on, start will also turn it back on. And then I can just check it in again, sudo. And it is actively running again. And in about 15 seconds again, it should run the uh, cron job and create the example.txt in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and there it, there it is. So yeah, that's basically, that's the uh, bare bones basics of cron jobs. Um, so yeah, if you want to figure out the uh, cron syntax, you can just read this uh, link right here. HTTPS techmin.com create and manage cron jobs on Linux. I'll have this linked in the description below. And if you want to see examples, you can just say, go to crontab.txt. And it, like here, it shows you how to run a cron tab every minute. You just put five asterisks. Or, if I just go down, if you want to run it once every, uh, every day of the week, zero, one. And then every day, every week, all days in a week. It will run at 1 a.m. every day of the week. So yeah, this will give you examples on what, how to create your uh, time syntax syntaxes for cron jobs. I'll have this linked in the description as well. So yeah, that's all I wanted to go over today. And my schedule has been a bit on and off, so I'm not sure if I'll have a video out next week. Still need to figure out what to make it on. I do want to make a system D video soon because that's the uh, init system I'm the most familiar with. Um, besides that, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next week. I hope you guys have had a good one. I hope you guys learned something. Please like and subscribe my videos. I really need uh, subscribers. I'm stuck at 19 for the past two months. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically begging at this point. Anyways. Peace out.